Hello everyone, my name is Bird and this is, will be my first full video um, today. So like and click and subscribe to, the, to my channel. And what I'll be doing today is um, glittering a bottle, making a bottle glitter. Um, it lately it been on a lot of trends and everything, and so uh, one of my co-workers, long-time co-workers, she wanted me to do her bottle, and so that's what we're doing today. Um, the bottle that I will be doing is this one. We're going to be glittering out for her birthday. Um, so, first thing is, you need to have you a bottle, whatever kind of bottle you choose, it doesn't matter. The second thing is that you need you some tape, you need a pair of scissors, you need, I'm using Mod Podge, but um, you can use whatever, you just need some glue, um, but I just choose to use Mod Podge, and I make sure I got the one that says um, glossy finish, so it won't interact with the glitter that you're going to need. She wanted her bottle to be um, black. And so we're going to do the bottle black. And so here you go. Um, this is the glitter that I'm using. Um, I picked up at one of the local craft stores. It was $4. It's okay. I'm not getting paid to advertise anything. I'm just showing you what I use. Um, and then everyone knows we all love the Dollar Tree. Here goes the brush that I'll be using to apply the glue. Okay. Let's get started. <laughs> okay. First thing first, we want to tape um uh, we want to tape off our um uh, my label. This bottle has like an indention, and so that's what I'm taping. What you see in me uh, tearing off the little piece, but that's what I also have scissors for too. So. The reason why you want to tape it um, is so you don't, um, so when you get to doing the glitter, you don't, you can be a little bit more um, carefree. That's why you're taping it off. And you don't want to use, um, you want to use something more like painter tape or something like that. Something that you can peel off that won't take, that won't snatch your whole, uh, that won't snatch off the label. And if you can, you want to get like right at the tip because you don't want to, um, after you put the glitter on there, you will be able to see it. And like, so if you missed a spot or you didn't take something, you will be able to see it. And it's harder, um, and it's, it's a little bit harder to fix it. So you just want to go ahead and do it right the first time. And this is the time where you really don't want to rush is when you're putting on your border for your uh, for for the painting of the bottle 
This is like the one time I would tell someone, don't rush it. Don't rush the process. See, my, to prove my little point. Okay. A little bit too far down. Okay, I got that together. That scratching at the door, at my back door, that is Nyla. Playing. That's, that's my rock wallet. That's my rock wallet. I love it to death.
As you can see, drop the label. Now that's the back of it. Now it's time for us to do the front. The front, the front should be a little bit more easier because it's, um, it's square. It don't have any shape to it like the back. Um, I like to keep the back because some, you know, they might want to read the nutrition facts on it. So I keep, I keep the label for my people. Okay. This is what it looks like after you have taped off your label. Me, I also like to tape off my top because I don't want to get the um, get everything get the um, inside my bottle. I don't want to contaminate anything. So how I do it, I stick it. Every bottle have like a little brim, and so. I do my tape under and I go alongside that brim. To make sure that I don't contaminate anything. Boom. 
There we go. Okay. Now it's time for you to have get your glue and to get your your brush. And if you're like me, I'm a little OCD. So I'm gonna go get me a um a little bowl so I can pour the glue into so when the black glitter touch it, it won't get it, I won't contaminate my um whole bottle. One second, please. Okay. I got me a little a little bowl. You can get anything, you can use a paper cup, you can use anything. I just use these. Again, that's Nyla drinking water. Nyla, stop, please. That's the life of being a dog owner. Hold on, let me get her situated. Okay, I'm back. I got her situated. Okay, now we're gonna do our first um, layer. And then in between each layer, we're gonna give it a couple of time, a couple of minutes to dry. But by the, if you take your time and do it, but you can continuously go and you don't have to worry about drying because it don't take miles parts that long to dry. Okay, me, I would like to start from the bottom and work my way up. So, let me open up my glitter. Sparkling baby. <laughs> this it only have a shaking side and I want a pouring side. So Okay. Here you go. And you don't want to use a lot of glue. You just want to use a little bit. Because it don't take a lot to hold it. A little goes a long way. And try your best to go in one direction because as each, as each time you do it, you're going to go in a different direction. Like this time, I'm going straight up and down. Next time, I go more side to side. And as I go, I take my, I just take the glitter. See? And this is why I did my container glue. You see, I already done dropped a little glitter off in it. And then why they, then what I do, I just rotate my bottle and keep it going. Keep working it. And um, remember, the smoother you put your glue on, the smoother your bottle will look.
you do. Everywhere you put the glue at, that's where you're going to put your glitter. Keep rotating it. Okay. Now we're on this side. You kind of want to move a little faster. You know, go at your own pace, but don't go too slow. You don't want your glue to get stiff on you. Okay. And then you do the same thing that you did the last time. Then if you need to, you know, use a little, if you don't got a little glue, um, glitter at the bottom, you can just lean your bottom and still go for what you know. Get your bottom. So your bottom is just important. When a person, when somebody look at it, they look at the whole bottle. They just don't look at the top. So you want to make sure that you do the best to your ability. Okay, this is what our first coat look like. You see what our first coat look like? And I, to me, I think you should do like three coats. Because then, you know, even if the light hit it a certain type of way, it'll be okay. So, now let's start on our second coat. Now that we got our first coat on there. Get your glue, and then we're going to start it all over again. You start it. Remember that if you want to, you want it to be as smooth as possible. So if you're heavy handed like me, this is the time for you to get a little lighter. Cause you want your brush to just to be able to to glide. Okay. And then we had to do it again. Just pour your Turn your bottle and just keep working it. Reason why I put my glue at the top because it's easier to push it down to the bottom. Okay. 
See, as I let my glue sit, it's getting thicker. So make sure you just get everything. Keep rotating your bottle. Like I tell you, don't forget about your bottle. I hope you're having much fun as I am in watching the transformation. All your friends is gonna love it. Friends, clients. They're going to love it. Need some more glue. We are almost done with the second cup. Okay. Got a little bit more to go and then we'll be done with our second cup. Check for smoothness. That's why you see me going like a couple of times over and over with the glue. It's because I'm trying to smooth it.
this is this is what our second coat is looking like see you can now you can hold it to the light and everything and it'll still be all right and you see how this blinging tingling gling, gling. <laughs> yes honey yes well, now we're finna do one more coat okay this coat will be our last coat let me show That's Nyla. <laughs> She's she stays in my business. <laughs> okay. If you if you touch it, you can see that it's still the look, it's still damp, but it's still but you can also go ahead and add your last and final coat. Um also when you get ready to let it dry, it need to give it at least um I would say a good 24 hours to dry before you gift it or before you just start really handling it but let's do our second coat because i'm jumping the gun so hold on we're gonna let's do our, our third coat our third and final coat okay and then we'll sit and then i um we'll seal it with the mod podge that's what made me um get mod podge because so because when it dries it'll keep the shine if anything It'll add more shine once it dry. And so and that's the whole point. Think this is gonna be like your your last coat of putting glitter. You really want to make sure that it's smooth. And I did what I told you not to do. I forgot my bottom. So we gotta I gotta go back and do my bottom. Do good old glitter. Okay, now we rolling. We turn in the bottle and we and if you would like to see me do something else, another um idea. Just hit me in the comment section and um and I'll be more than happy to um to show you because um this my page is really about doing you know doing crafts and things like that and um getting to know you know talking um just enjoying life um showing people how to how you know making things easier although it might look complicated it might look hard but showing and showing you that it, it is doable you know you can do this we can do this together but if you have any questions or anything just um drop a comment as well as be nice and respectable to one another when you drop a comment. You know, this is a this is a um a judge free zone. There's no such thing as a bad project or a bad idea. Okay. 
Okay. We're finished. We did that lap so fast. Okay. I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit. Okay. Okay, and the last thing you're gonna do after you done did. Hold on, let me need to fix this because they're going to add the tape. Okay. 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 Now that we done did three layers of, um, of uh, glitter, now we want to do our last layer. Our last layer, we're not going to use glitter. We're just going to use glue. To make sure that it's all be sealed in and to make sure that everything is smooth. Um, and if you're like me, I got an, I still I got glitter in my glue, so my it is gonna help it. So so on this last go around, we just wanna make sure that we don't touch everything, everything looks smooth. We don't want nothing that's um that's bumpy or anything like that. We we just want to, um, not as well as we sealing it. That's one thing about this mod part is also sealed. So we sealing everything, making sure that everything look good. And by this being a clear bottle, I can pretty much see when something is not um, sealed. The light shines through it. So just take your time. This is the part that you really want to... Take your time and, you know, just do it right. Because, you know, people, when you're not around, people are going to judge you off of what you, what you brought to the table, what you did. And, you know, so you don't want to have to do something. And who knows, it might give you an opportunity to do it for somebody else. If you do a good job. Because after, um, after it dries 24 hours, you're going to go back one more time and you'll fill in, you know, you'll, fit, you'll seal it. You'll do one more layer of glue and then you'll, um, you'll, everything should be done. Got the frame, but so this is what your bottles look like. If you want to do, you want to give it time to dry, um, so you, so everything can seal up and everything. Then um, you, you can come back. Like I'll be back in about an hour, and I I do like one little uh, look at everything, and I'll do one um I um uh, I'll do one more layer of glue and um glue and glitter just to make sure so this um so let's take a pause we're gonna come back in an hour i'm gonna show you what it look like how the majority done dried um and we'll look at it and we'll go from there so um this is your uh 
pause for your calls, and I'll be back. Well, we'll be back. Thank you. Hold on. See you in a minute. Hello. I'm back. And this is what it looks like after an hour of drying. Are you see? It's still sparkly, shiny, glittery. I got a few bumps from in it dry, but I can I'm gonna work it out. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna you look at your bottle and if everything is covered like you like it. What you then do is put on your last coat of glue. Oops. I don't know where my little container went. I'll be right back. Okay, here got my container. I forgot I had to get out to wash it. Okay, get this, get your last little bit of glue. And now what we're going to do now is we just sealing in everything. So, same as last time. You just want to take it. Because if you feel it, it should be a lot more stiff. Like, everything shouldn't move like it was at first or anything like that. It should be a little bit more stiffer. You see? That's getting the the residue. See, uh, there. there you go. Okay. But you don't want to push it too hard because it's still sort of um, wet. But what you're doing now is just getting all that, that like that excess glue, that extra glue. And you're kind of like molding and shaping it a little bit. Put our last little bit on. And all we're doing now is sealing it. So, that's all we're doing now. You're not putting no more glitter on it. But this is going to be our last little coat. See, this is why make sure you, I always want to make sure that your label is good.
If you want to, you can have on um, gloves. I suggest it. For me, I like I'm a touch and feel person, and so I like to I like to touch it, feel it, make sure that everything is. Now, with your hand or with a glove on, you just smooth out. That's all you want to do now. paint from when you used to be in school. If I'm out my friend, I'm sorry. This is this is my first video, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited. Growth 2023. I hope it grows. We can do more videos. My goal is to do one video a week at the minimum. But this is growth. Let me get a napkin real quick. I had to get a napkin. Um, one thing I can say, if in doubt, like if you really wanted to, just to help give it an extra tingling -ling, you can sprinkle. I don't know what that is. But you don't need it. Because like I said, once it dries, you're going to have all the tingling -a -ling. The glitter, your glitter going to be popping. Your bottle's gonna be popping. But you know, some people like to see the to see the glitter and all of that now. The the tingling -a -ling now. But that was our last coat. Only thing we have to do now is wait till our bottle is fully dry. Once our bottle is fully dry. You pull the paper off, and then you will have your bling bottle. And that is how you make your liquor your liquor bottles bling. Who? You will love it, or whoever you making it for, they will, they will love it. To me, it is worth the time in doing it. To have a cute centerpiece at a table at a party, or just at your table, you know, I I like a little glitter, I like a little bling bling in my house, so it looks good on your bar. Just to have it, to have it on your bar. All you have to do, this is what it looks like when you're finished. Um, the only thing you have left is to peel off the tape. And we'll be peeling off the tape in about two hours. Because this time we didn't use as much glue. So we should be able to peel it off without damaging anything. In about two hours, if in doubt, like or if you touch your bottle and it's still wet, um, just let it dry a little bit longer because, like I said, this is your finished product. Um, if you see some imperfections, you can always do another layer of um, glitter if you see any imperfections or anything. But like I stated, this is um, this is it. Um, I'm going to let it dry. Once I let it dry, I'll be coming back and, and letting you see the finished product.
Until then, take a break, get a snack, sip on a glass of wine, or make you a drink while you fixing that drink. <laughs> make you a drink while you making a bottle. And um, and I'll be back after it dries. Hello everyone, I'm back. It's been 24 hours. Again, like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be so greatly appreciative and I'm so thankful that if you're watching my video and that you're taking the time out of your day. Like I stated earlier, it's been 24 hours. My bottle is dry. It is dry. It is sparkly. I do have a little glitter that comes on my hand, if you can see. But it's okay. That's what glitter does. Um, now, at this time, you can decide do you want to do another um, thing of glue, another layer of glue just to seal in all your little loose, all your little loose ones. Um, and I do, so I'm gonna seal in. Um, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do it one more time because I don't want nobody who's holding the bottle to be like, um, we got so much glitter on it on their hands. So um, I'm gonna do it one more time. So like I said, if you get your glue, any kind of glue that you choose, I choose this glue. Um, I pour a little bit in your container. Cause you don't want to get that type. You don't want to get that glitter and everything. Um, get the glitter uh, inside your main thing of glue. So it's always best to pour it in a, another container. Um, if you did this time, we're not using any glitter or anything. We just um, what we call sealing the bottle um, because we don't want glue. On, I mean, we don't want glitter on everybody's hands. But as you can tell, the shine did come back, so you wasn't missing your, your tingling gleam, your, um, the glitter. Um, it's not as smooth as I, um, would like it, but, um, if, it, if I would, um, if you wanted to, like, the buff, the buff out the little bit of, um, I don't know if you can tell or not, I have a little bumps. And bruises, you can see now that I'm gonna put the glue on there. If you wanted to smooth it out, all you have to do this before you put your final layer of glue on there, all you have to do is um, take some sandpaper and just sand it off. But I'm not gonna uh, do that today. I'm just gonna put this last layer of glue. I set my timer. I let it. Um, I let it go. Let it dry for an hour because it takes about an hour. That's if you did a thin layer of glue. But if you did a thicker layer of glue, it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, like I, um, if you would have um, been following, you, you, the shine did come back and the shine will come back. We did doing this last little layer just for all the extra loose glitter that we have. We don't, you know. That is, if people are drinking and eating, you don't want them to have the glitter in their food. That's all. But if you're, um, and so in an hour, so after I let it completely dry for about an hour, um, then we'll put, uh, we, we're going to pull off the tape and see how it looks. Um, this, um, uh, this is my, um, first time doing it. I've been because I finally had a reason to do it, and and I want to share my first time doing it with uh, with you guys. I want to share my first time doing it with you guys, and I'm so grateful that you um that you, that you guys have been going on this journey with me. And like I said, you just want to finish it. That that layer should come, you know, be red thin. So you just want it, you just want to, uh, you just want enough just to stop the glitter from getting all over your hands. As you can see, I coated my whole bottle. As you also can see, glue, wet glue tells all your secrets. It tells where you, you know, where it wasn't so smooth at. But that's why it was so important when you put it up, that's why it's so important that while you're doing the process, it's good for you to um, do your, you know, 
um, do smooth out your glue as good as possible, as smooth as possible, because you see them imperfections at the end. Um, if you wanted to, you can like um, like sometimes um, I did. Sometimes you can do a layer and let it completely dry, and do another layer and then let it completely dry. But if you're like me and you didn't have that time and you want to kind of rush it a little bit, you can, um, as you go, the glue does start doing the drying process. And this is what it turns out to be. Like once this layer of glue dries, it'll it, um, it fill it in. It'll fill in like the little dips and, um, and things like that. But like I showed you earlier, well, before I put this last layer of glue on there, that you couldn't see them uh, small imperfections. Probably because it's, it, it was black. Now, if it was a different color, I would have sanded. Um, I would have sanded and made it, you know, made it more smoother, and then put my um, and then put my last layer of glue on there, so it it, it won't have all the little um, glitter just knocking off on everybody's hands. Like I said, that's a little, you know, you don't want glitter in your um, in your food, in your mouth, or anything like that. Um, so I see you in an hour. Hello, there's something wrong with my light. Hold on, please. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hello, I'm back. Thank you. Um, it undried. See, I'm touching it now. You can see that there's no glitter, everything is doing better. Um, let's do the reveal. Let's start peeling off our tape. Okay, let's start off at the top. Fingers crossed. Tip off a little bit of it. Okay. So that go the lid, it's taking off, it's taking off. Let's do the inside. Let's do our label. And there's no rush in peeling off the tape. And your glue still might be a little wet, like mine's is still a little wet, so I'm still able to mold it a little bit, because it's still a little wet. And just push them edges on down. That goes the front of my bottle. You see, you can still see the gold trimming on it and everything. And now let's do the back of the bottle. Oops, you don't want to let it be glitter like that. Okay, find you a starting point. If you're wondering what that noise is, that's Nyla again. She's playing with her um her toy up under the table. She's my best friend. She don't um I don't get to roam around the house too much without her, without her being there. Okay, so now we finally got it started. Mm -hmm. 
this. Remember to take your time. Once you find a starting point, everything else is, comes off and does a lot more easier. Mm. Make sure you try not to pull up the label as well. Remember, this is the little hard part because this is where we had the, um, the little indentions and stuff like that. So we'll come back to that corner. I was telling you about the little, the little dip that this bottle has. You fix it. And there was the last of the tape. It's right here. Look at that corn I was having problems with earlier. Boom. Oops. I can fix that glitter right back on. I went ahead and smashed it off. I should have made it straight. Okay. So, here go what my glitter bottle look like. What I'm going to do is, and I'll probably show you on another video, is I probably do like the bling bling, um, do the little diamonds around the corner to make it a little bit more of a polished look if to have the diamonds. If I don't put the diamonds on around it, I, I will be putting a border, but I'll be showing you that in, a, in another video. This video was just to show you how to glitter your bottle. And as it, um, as it, and it, when the lights hit it, it does sparkle, it is shiny, um, as the light hit it. So, do yours and drop me a comment or show, drop me a picture of it, um, when you do it in my comment section. So, and I can't wait to see what you create. Thank you and, um, thank you for watching the video. I pray that you click and subscribe. And um, until next time, thank you.